guys so welcome to a new part another new part of the channel and um, as you all know um, that I'm from Eckington and I miss Eckington don't I, I love Eckington people I love all that tight knit community shit you know how they care about what other people are doing you know in a caring way obviously so I thought um, you've got a lot of groups on Facebook and stuff where they put everything on you know what they're doing and stuff I thought let's put it on let's put it on youtube let's bring them into the flying high living low family because i'm sure that they miss me you know and maybe not some everything on my channel that they could relate to so i'm creating something that they can so i thought i'm gonna make a, a little a little quick upload once a week and you know show them that we care and just put little things on that's happening in neckington for those of maybe who don't know I suppose it's not possible, is it? But um, so they had a little bit of a collision earlier. Uh, the police said on their website, and the road was closed. It's open now, so we don't need to go into it. Um, but the comments on that was, um, oh, two two did say I hope they're all right. Other two was like, oh bloody hell, I'm going out soon. And the other ones like, oh, I hope I can get one. I mean, fucking hell. This collision, people in collision might not even be able to get home, love. You know, but just think of yourselves. Um, then there's something that's going off um, in Eckington that I thought I would never see the day that this would happen. Um, and that is County Lines. So County Lines has actually reached Eckington. We all know what County Lines is, don't we? Uh, drug dealing over, you know, over the borders and stuff. And fucking hell, I didn't think that it could possibly have happened. Because nobody seems to fucking be, have been brave enough to leave bloody Eckington borders. But they seem to have now. And um, I'll, so I'll let you know what's happening. So someone called Nathaniel Brown. He's 35 and he's at Rainbow Place. No idea where that is. He's been charged with conspiracy to supply Class A drugs uh, and acquire or use criminal uh, property. So, you know, basically things that have been bought with, bought with the money of, to, of drugs. Then we've got someone called Josh Newbold. He's 24. He's on Lime Road. Now that is, I know where that is, it's just Rock Corner from where my mother used to live. Um, and he's also been charged with the same charges. But he's also been charged a, a, disqualif a not disqualified driver obtaining a driving licence. I don't know fucking how a disqualified driver fucking managed to do that. I'm fucking hell, I don't know. Uh, and he's been driving while well disqualified. Uh, possession of a blade and article in a public place. Probably his fucking mother's nail file. Anyway, both men uh, appeared in in, uh, in court, in magistrate's court, on the 23rd of February. So it's a while ago it happened. Um, and they were remanded in, they were remanded in custody. Then we've got two women and women involved. Um, and they've been charged with uh, connection of it as well. Okay? Uh, someone's called Daisy Brammel. She's dirty from Rainbow Place again. Don't know where this fucking Rainbow Great Place is, but fucking I need to get over it, huh? Um, being charged with uh, conspiracy to supply class A drugs and again acquire or use possessing criminal property. Then we have somebody called Casey Baker. She's 18. She lives on East View Avenue. Now I know where that one is because um, Ali Ann used to live near there. So I know where that one is. Um, and she's been charged again with conspiracy to supply class A drugs um, and possession of this, this criminal property. And then them two are due in court 20. Um, 23rd I think something like that uh, so they'll have been in gone but there's no update on it now I actually put this put this up on a group and I put this is what karma looks like in Eckington you know because of how how the people were towards my mum and what I did and, and etc and they were on it they came oh and when I put the, put the article up I crossed the names out I didn't give the names I crossed it out Oh, and they were right on to me. And I said, well, you, you weren't really bothered when it was my mum, you know, people were saying it too. So they've, they've really got double standards in Eckington, if you've not already noticed. Um, so that's kind of what's what's going on in there. And then, obviously, on these groups that I, I, I've, you know, I'm a member of, they have, like, you know, what's happening in the community and things like that. And um, so t uh, tonight there's an auction, um, and it's they describe it as the biggest, best auction is a fucking thing we're talking about eBay, these cunts, don't they? But no, it's at Miners, Miners, oh, Rennish Miners Welfare, 
Uh, it starts at half six. Um, fucking hell, fire. We have cash bingo at quarter past six and quarter past seven. Um, you can have two pound fifty. You can get in a book, book sandwich. Um, and if you want to sell to them, you should have brought your items between twelve and four. Um, and then we were already queued at that time, so fuck it. Now, years and years ago, there was um, a fucking crossing at the bottom of Beckington, you know. Uh, zebra crossing, we just, we just walked across, you know, sorted across that. I mean, it's that fucking quiet Eckington, but you don't need one, really. But anyway, uh, they've got a, um, a petition up. Help the crossing in village. So help put back our local crossing in village. To make roads safer, someone's put. Many years ago, many years ago, remember that? They were crossing in the centre for people to use to cross the road. I mean, fuck it. What else were they doing on a fucking crossing, you know what I mean? Fucking hell, not rocket science, love. You know, and it says they used it to cross the road safely and to get to the, the businesses across the road. Well, yes, that's what a crossing is. You cross the road with it, you fucking idiot. But, you know, this is it. Just in, just in case you weren't sure what a crossing were, they definitely fucking did tell you what a crossing is. And, it, you know, on this fucking thing, on this, this petition, it, like, it says, like, what does it mean for you? So it means that we're going to be safer access for kids going to school. Uh, safer for disabled people. Clear road markings to stop cars from blocking access. And then it says, think about family members and friends and anyone in the public who would benefit from this bloody crossing being put back. Please help us by signing this petition. Right, they've got 200 signatures, they've got 166. So that's fucking some cunts had to join. 166 different fucking domain names. You know, email names to fucking think, you know, I can't see 166 people caring whether this fucking crossing happens or not. And, and in, in, in fairness, he's been gone that fucking long. Christ, you don't have to cross the road without it yet. Unreal. And where they want it is in the middle of fucking Eckington yet. And it, it just, you can see, it, it's so slow. It's the slowest fucking road. It's not even like a speeding road, it's in the village. The village, like, let me, let, me, let me paint this picture, let me paint the picture. They have a fucking market down there for a start, but let's paint the picture. They've got um, Chipper, they've got fucking uh, chemist that's been there like umpteen years. Uh, then across the road there's some uh, flower pots and stuff like that. Not fast moving roads whatsoever. Um, so I fucking put my vocal voice on, on, the, on the post. And I put, wow, what a fucking waste of money. This is. Could be used to something else. So everybody's got on me. And I, I get a lot of angry emoji faces. And at first I thought people were pressing the wrong button. But I've kind of guessed now that they're not. They're just really fucking angry at what I say. Don't be, I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, um, comments in the bottom, by the way, if you, if you, if you want to explain to me. So I put... Fucking hell fire. If you don't know how to fucking cross the road now, there's something wrong. So anyway, this fucking woman, she says, um, she was trying to cross outside Kems. Now, Kems is further up and it's on a fucking bend. Right, and she said there were a car blocking a view. She'd got a pram with her and a four-year-old kid and they wanted to cross to go to fucking swimming baths. Now, there's hundreds of ways I can go to swimming baths, but she wanted to go this way and she wanted to cross right where the sky were. So... She's etched into the middle of the road. And her car had to slam anchors on so it didn't hit this four-year-old. What a fucking pity. But, uh, you know, uh, all for animals, you know that. Anyway, she's, you know, she's alarmed at this. So I said, why on earth would you try and cross there anyway? You know, you, you'd move down, you'd move down to a safer place. It's, you know, this under the plate. It, honestly, it, it's... The most quietest road ever. So anyway, so I said, go and cross somewhere else. It's, you know, it's not rocket science, love. So she come back at me and said, she needed a drop curb because she'd got a pram. So I explained to her how to get up a curb with a pram. She didn't take it too kindly. But I told her, you just push your pram down, you get to where there's a curb, you tilt the pram back, 
and you put the wheels on and you lift it up. It rate in rocket science. Rate in rocket science. And and then um, you know, someone says that they need it, um, because a lot of people a lot of groups use it. Like um people are gonna come to school um, and come to school take um the kids out and take them to um the swimming baths for them to learn uh swimming. Um and they said that some other community groups use um well cross there basically to get to the facilities that they use. So I scratched my head for a little bit and I thought, right, get typing. I put, why are them two fucking people, them two groups talking about, they're blind. Because fucking hell, you can't cause a ruin. This cousin not been there for years. But anyway, that is what's happening in fucking Eckington. And I just want to say, um, this video is for my lovely, lovely friend, Sandra. So, hi, Sandra. I hope everything's going well with your fucking um, weirdos next door. But, um, yeah. So, guys. Hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. Please like and subscribe and share me.